Okay, we'll start with the Mustard C49S curved caddis. This is sheer 40 naught brown. So we just put a little bit of tying thread at the front. This is one of my most essential patterns. Got to have this in the box. Go to that. <coughs> And what we need is this is these are uh, uh, 2.3 millimeter small uh, yellow cylinders, foam cylinders. We take one of these. You can get about three of the three flies out of one cylinder. So what we do first is we spin our tine thread anti-clockwise to flatten it, so I don't cut through the foam. I want to position the tine thread where we want the base to be attached and then we'll just work our way a wee ways back then we take our scissors and we trim that off to an angle we can just tighten that in now go back up here and flatten that thread again Just so we get a taper on the body. Not super essential, but we're going to cover this. Just fix that down. And then we'll go down here. Now I've got some parapost white. But all I want from that is like four or five strands. So we'll just put that thread there. We take these up and we hook those in. Place them at the back of the hook there. Fold that over. Let's put it central. And we'll go over that. That's excellent. Now we go back up here to the post. We'll just make a few wraps tight in so we get it to stand correctly. Here, this is Twinkle. It's kind of a dull uh, crystal flash. We take one strand of that. We hook it under the tying thread, we pull it around and make sure that both sides are the same length and then we can tie this in all the way down right into the parapost material and we go back up and we'll leave our thread there and we take both strands at once this makes it a really great body you just have to get that first turn in correctly there we go we just go up this uh, twinkle is uh, light brown is the colour name. And go up here all the way into the post. And we'll just go back there and we'll tie that off. And get rid of that. Just get that past, then we'll just reinforce the base by going up a wee ways and then back down in front. 
from there and a couple of more turns at the base. There we are. Very good. Then what we need is, is a grizzly dyed March Brown. Uh, beautiful colours. So I've stripped one side of the hackle on this. And we'll go over there like that across. And then we'll just lift that up and we'll go around the base of the post. Up to the top and then we can come back down. Like so, we'll just tie that stub down. We'll go back to here. Spin my tying thread anti-clockwise. Split it. There we are. I'll just open up that loop. And I've made a little hazier Antron blend that I'm going to use for the thorax on this March Brown. So just put that in. There's a little bit too much there, but I'll pull that out afterwards once I've spun it up and secured it. So we'll just spin that up. Very good. Then what we can do is we can go in and just thin it out so we get a nice little spiky dubbing. There we go. And we go up here. Forward to the hook eye. We finish her. Though it finishes like so, we all remove that. Now turn this around like so. We can shorten that shuck. We only want like five, six mil, just like that. And take our thread again. Go on to the post. Just tie that in. That's good. And then we can remove that. Take our hackle. Come back right to there. to do is just pull off a few of those so I get a nice clean point to fasten the hackle down. There we go. And then we'll just remove that. Take a drop of varnish just Like that, and then we can go around two or three times. Take a whip finisher, oops, and we'll put in a whip finisher there. Get rid of that. There's one there that I don't like. Pull that one out. Looking good. And we can take it out. Turn it around. And we can take the post down to the size that we want. And that's the finished farm post March Brown. I hope that you're all uh, keeping well in these troubled corona times. It's uh, not an ideal situation being self-isolated for many of you, but uh, perhaps you could look at it as a good opportunity of filling your fly boxes. 
So stay home, stay safe and thanks for watching.